Welcome to the Catholic Sobriety Podcast Minisode. These shorter episodes provide quick tips and information that you can refer back to when you need it most, so you can achieve and maintain your desired level of sobriety. I am your sobriety coach and host of this podcast, Christy Walker. Let's get started. Welcome everyone to another episode. So this episode is my first mini-sode and I'm going to be delivering once a week a short bite-sized episode that is going to give you some quick tips and information to help get you through certain things that come up as we you know, start to journey and get curious about how to drink less or not at all. And these will hopefully be things that you can refer back to as needed so that you can maintain your goals to achieve the level of sobriety that is right for you. So let's dig in. So today's episode is about how to write out a craving. Now, if you happen to be on my email list, this is going to be Yeah, you've already heard it before, but that's okay. You can hear it again. And instead of just reading it in my email that I sent you, you can now hear me say it and refer back to it anytime you'd like. If you are not on my email list, then I highly encourage you to grab my free guide. You will find that in the show notes. It is a drink less or not at all, the Catholic Guide to Freedom. Like I said, absolutely free. It gets you on my email list and you'll have it tips and information and any new things I have going on will end up right in your inbox. So I hope you'll consider doing that. So today let's talk about writing out cravings for alcohol so that you can meet your goals to drink less or not at all. Now I know what you're thinking. Yeah, Christy, that sounds great, but how the heck do I do that? Now, while everyone is unique in achieving the level of sobriety that works for them, the information and tips that I will be providing are an excellent place for anyone to start. And these aren't just for habits of drinking necessarily. These could be if you're having difficulty um, with food or, you know, anything really, anything that's kind of causing chaos in your life. So you can apply these tips um, to fighting urges and cravings regardless of what um, you may be struggling with. So the first one, the first thing I would like you to know is that thoughts are not facts. Our brains are constantly offering us suggestions, but here's the key. We do not have to believe or act on them. So remember, thoughts are just thoughts. However, a circumstance is a fact. So for example, if there's a bottle of wine in the fridge, That's just a circumstance. That's a fact. It can't be disputed. But a thought, again, is just a thought. And here's the good news. It can be changed. So that's a little peek into some of the mindset work that I do with my clients around the think, feel, act cycle. The second thing I want you to do is to get curious. So when your brain offers you the thought, I am craving a drink, distance yourself from it. Instead say, hmm. I notice that I am having a thought of craving a drink. Now, this may sound super simple and ridiculous for me to even suggest this, but I promise you this shift in your thought weakens its hold on you. Just try it and let me know what you think. Okay, the next thing is, you know, I want you to explore deeper. Getting curious is what this whole thing is about. So challenge that craving. Write down what it's telling you a drink will give you. But let's be honest, it's never true. A drink doesn't make anything really better. It will upset you and stress your system, and it isn't necessarily very fun. I mean, sometimes it can be fun in the moment, but the next morning, that's not always fun. So Um, If we keep in mind that it's not the alcohol that is making an event or celebration or dinner or whatever it is more fun, it's actually the company and the activity that we're doing that makes it enjoyable. So the next thing I want you to do is look that craving in the face. You say to it, 
I see you craving, I acknowledge you, but that doesn't mean that I need to give in to you. And then pull out a list or create a list if you don't have one. And if you download my free drink less or not at all guide, you'll find that list included in there. But anyway, pull out the list that you've made that gives you ideas of things you can do when a craving strikes. So that could be go for a walk, take a bath, uh, run to the store, uh, journal, read my Bible, do a devotional, whatever it is, you're going to compile a list of things. So when that craving strikes, you can go to that list and pick the one that sounds the best to you at that exact moment. And it will be different at different times. So I encourage you to do that. Now, keep in mind that by doing this and doing it consistently, every time a craving strikes, pretty soon your brain learns through patterns and repetition. So you're teaching your brain a new pattern by noticing the thought and allowing it to pass. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. And then the next thing is I want you to remember your power. And let's be real. It's God's power. That same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. You do not walk alone. In those hard moments, when those cravings just seem crushing, I encourage you to say, Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. And pray that the gifts of the Spirit within you will be strengthened so that you can fight and resist. Also, make sure that you are regularly partaking in the sacraments so that you are open and receiving all those special graces the extraordinary graces that we get just by receiving the sacraments. And remember what I said in the beginning. A thought doesn't become an action until you choose to make it an action. That's where your power lies. You don't have to take action. Thoughts may feel strong, but they are not magical and they cannot make you act. And the last thing is, I just want you to bask in the glory of the Lord. And when you are able to resist those cravings, I want you to give glory and honor to him and celebrate those victories, those moments when you resisted and allow yourself to soak up those good feelings and do something kind and loving for yourself. And in the morning, be sure to notice how amazing you feel. Remember those feelings. And the accomplishment, the sense of accomplishment will grow over time as the cravings become fewer. I promise you, you can do this. And if you want to achieve your goals faster and have some accountability and a partner as you embark on this beautiful journey toward freedom, hop on a call with me and see if coaching is right for you. There's absolutely no obligation. And I promise you, you will leave knowing what to do, whether you work with me or don't. I hope you enjoyed this first mini-sode, and I look forward to creating many, many more. Well, that wraps up today's episode of the Catholic Sobriety Mini-sode. Thank you so much for joining me, and please be sure to subscribe to this podcast so you don't miss a thing. And remember, I am here for you. I am praying for you. You are not alone.